Hi guys, welcome back to my book channel. My name is Hannah, if you're new here, hello. Um, I personally don't like long intros, so I'm just gonna tell you what today's video is. Today's video is gonna be my five worst reads of 2020. Four books here, okay, my, <laughs> my four worst reads of 2020. Now, um, do you know how prepared I am? I wrote an entire two page spread about my thoughts and feelings on these books, so get excited if you also if you personally loved any of these books that I am going to talk about that's absolutely fine it's just you're allowed different opinions and um that's how reading works you're not going to like every book you read and you're not going to fall in love with every single author that you end up reading and um if you read so many thrillers at once it kind of gets repetitive so anyway let's grab my notebook this is my like I have some strong opinions on uh, these books, as you can see. Um, these are, I wrote an entire like four page spread of bookshop ideas and that never happens to me. So look forward to them videos. So we are going to series of 2020 before it's too late into 2021 for me to talk about stuff I read last year. So um, by far the I'm not going to leave you in suspense, we'll just start with the worst book I read last year and get it out of the way because, oh my god, okay, the worst book I read last year was The Holiday by T.M. Logan. Now, the premise of this book is so good and I was looking forward to it, but however, I, I just did not, I couldn't connect with it at all, it just left me very bored you know um so this if you've never heard of this book this book um is one of those ones that takes place on a holiday and there's all these friends um and then they have secrets and the secrets get found out pretty self-explanatory that obviously it's a thriller people end up dying um and there's trouble in paradise um so someone in the villa is prepared to kill to keep their secret hidden hidden that's not the word secret hidden um i'm just gonna pull up my um what i wrote on my bookstagram about this book because um <laughs> i can't remember what like unpopular opinion incoming and then no one liked it because no one had the same opinion as me and you know what that is okay but uh, technical difficulty with my phone is like the iphone 7 plus and it just refuses to do anything these days about having a absolute meltdown. Anyway, I found my book review on my bookstagram and normally my bookstagrams get about 40 likes, pre, which is all right, like I'm not saying I get like hundreds though. The Holiday by TM Logan. I gave 2.5 stars. Um, <laughs> I, the positive was I loved how short the chapters were. Um, it, I just found it very convol com convoluted. Um, like the more the story went on the more frustrated I got as the main subplot goes off on this tangent that makes absolutely no sense um, and there was so much potential for that to be more interesting and it just I did not like it um, and at the end you're just le left waiting to figure it out y yourself. Um, alongside this the characters are I can't pronounce this word be generous with rather annoying traits and there are vivid descriptions of self-harm um, revenge porn and some upsetting upset <laughs> some upsetting imagery um, and since starting my bookstore I'd never given a book uh, less than like 3 or 3.5 um, so I was really scared to give this 2.5 but for me it just it just didn't did not work for me, so that is a see ya. That can firmly go in the bin, not literally. Um, moving on, the second worst book I read in uh, 2020 was um, One Day in December by Josie Silver. I absolutely love the premise of this book and I read it in December and it made me feel all like, oh, it's Christmassy, I love it. Um, was really excited to read a Christmassy themed book set in December and it made me feel all like oh how cute because me and my boyfriend met in December and I was like oh this is cute but however uh no I really 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 hated the main uh character the main character character that Laurie 
um, has this thing for they're never you're never really sure will they won't they is the main premise of that you're left wondering will they get together will they not get together um, so you follow them through years of their lives and they're always the main characters Laurie his name is Jack so Laurie and Jack are always in each other's lives um, and the way they end up meeting is just like you're left like really would that happen in real life no because it's kind of weird like just running after a bus and see someone fleeting and then turns out that um, Jack ends up dating her housemate for a few years so they're always in each other's lives um, but never in the way that they first intentionally wanted to be in each other's lives it was kind of like love at first sight but they weren't allowed to be together the first time they met each other because he was dating her housemate then drama um, ensues and Honestly, if the if the guy Jack wasn't such a dickhead, I would have liked this story more. But for me, it just felt like they just shouldn't really. It there was a lot of um, like hurting between friendships and um, like will they won't they, and they should have just been honest with each other and um, the other people in their lives um, from from the beginning because. Laurie ends up marrying a completely different person and then Jack still has this weird hold over her and like I said the only reason I didn't enjoy this book is because the guy just was a dickhead and I can't I just you know the other person goes and gets married they're literally telling you you know what I've moved on stop trying to get back into my life anyway um this is so this I didn't really like it. I don't know what else I can say. No, I don't know. You can leave it or you can read it. <laughs> Moving on. The third book I really did not enjoy in <laughs> 2020 was The Silent Patient by Alex Me. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this because I don't know how to pronounce words apparently. Anyway, The Silent Patient. <sighs> Again, um, this is one of the ones that I saw hyped the hell up on Bookstagram. Everyone was talking about it, everyone was giving it five stars, hyping it up, and I was like, oh cool, I want to read that. I read it in July, I believe. Um, I just found it so slow paced. Um, the chapters are really slow and I'm kind of like, just just get me straight into this, the story. I don't want all this build up of boring the past life if it's relevant I don't want to know anything if it's not relevant to the plot and just bores me heart to death so for me pers personally um, I found the silent patient very slow paced um, and I guess the plot twist so early on um, that it didn't it didn't have me like oh my god no way I wasn't like flabbergasted like holy crap I wasn't expecting that I guessed it so early on and I think that's just because I personally read a lot of um, thriller-esque books and I think the way you can only do a certain storyline a certain amount of times um, before it gets like oh that was obvious but if you've never read um, thrillers and you've never seen an obvious plot line or a twist in a thriller book then I guess it would surprise you so no wonder it's hyped up on Instagram I gave three stars just because the chapters are really short and easy to read so yeah I didn't really enjoy this one it was just kind of really obvious to guess and meh I don't know so, the fourth and last worst book I read in 2020 was uh <laughs> please don't hate me for saying this I know everyone loves this book and loves this author I don't hate the author for me I just didn't like the story because um <laughs> the guest list by Lucy Foley <laughs> um I have an entire video on this book and my review and it's me just being like why <laughs> why does this book take so long to get to the main arc of the story like you waste an entire 200 pages <laughs> getting to the main plot of the story and then it's all just gone with a flash you read the last 80 pages and you're like oh why 
why did we waste all this time trying to um, figure out who it's who, etc. And just really graphic descriptions of self-harm and um, alcoholism and just like really unhealthy relationships in this book and not a lot of people talk about that but for me I found it really uncomfortable to read um the the scenes and I think the girl's called Hannah actually where she was like self-harming and stuff and it was really disturbing and I wasn't expecting that so for me I wish books that do have that type of content come with some type of trigger warning because it like you know could trigger people if they're not in a good headspace obviously with the world still being a shit show um and I have this is my second copy of this book because um my sister bought it for me for Christmas um so sorry it's not like I don't I love books I just personally didn't enjoy this book so now I have two copies away so yeah this this book was just it took so long to get to the to to the plot that it wasted my time and I feel like my time reading this can never be um, revived. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, so um, a lot of people have said, oh, are you gonna read The Hunting Party? And I've heard people say The Hunting Party is essentially the same story, just set in a different world or place. It was really fast paced, um, uh, fast paced in, me being reading reading it really fast not fast paced as in the story because we see a theme all these four books just took so long to get to the point and it just either one way one way or another um i didn't <laughs> unfortunately i did not enjoy um and for me to be talking about books i read in 2020 anyway <laughs> yeah these are the worst books that i read in 2020 um yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I shall see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.